Hello, Pussycat. So Howie and I are going on to our morning daily, more like every other day hike. I'm gonna be taking two of my activated charcoal because every time I seem to exercise, something goes wrong down there. I have to be well prepared because I ain't taking on a hike. I may have to use your fur, Howie. Oh, I already feel gassy. Be right back. Hi, okay. So um, I think that we're all flushed out. Say hello to Howard. Hey Howard. Hi. You ready to do a Q&A, Howard? This same car always passes by here. He always expects me to make way for him as if he's in the main aisle at Walmart. Rude. Um, I was writing down all of my questions yesterday into my handy dandy notebook. I'm just gonna get the big main question that everybody's probably mostly curious about. Somebody said, Trane, tell us a little bit about your boyfriend. Well, let me just, you know, crack it to ya in a nutshell. Oh, All right, so my boyfriend, we have been dating for five years. He is twice as old as my age, enough to be a dad, yes. Okay, leave it, bye. He has children. We're happily ever after. I seek for two things in men. I seek for intelligence, and humor. Somebody kind of like me. <laughs> so somebody asked, what is the biggest hair mistake you've ever done? I would probably have to say was when I was just about to enter ninth grade in high school. And you know, I was too desperate to kind of like try to fit in in high school. And the emo hairstyle was very much in style back then. And you know, I just kind of took a razor and started butchering my hair. It turned out to be a mullet. These girls like would come up to me and like have like, you know, like a, a hillbilly accent around me as if mullets were associated with hillbillies. What is your main top tips into getting a summer body? For me, I certainly have laid off alcohol for about a whole month, except we kind of fell off the wagon the other day because my period came and I was just extremely emotional and, you know, a mess. Make sure you exercise regularly. I do try to omit, you know, processed foods, fast foods, and um, I just try to eat clean. Mainly just stop eating crap. Okay, next question. Name three things that you can't live without. Uh, certainly my morning drug. Another one is my eyebrow pencil because people's eyebrows don't look scary. Last but not least, probably Howie. All right, so we just got to our hike and um, we've got our backpack here. We've also got beef snacks for Howie. Okay, so I got to the end of my hike. Ooh, you did a good job on the hike today. Okay, so somebody asked, what is your relationship with your parents? We're kind of like the plague. We just avoid each other. How do you keep your hair so shiny? I don't touch my face. I don't touch my hair. I try to do as little as possible. I also take hair vitamins and I eat a lot of salmon and protein. How do you choose to have a Labrador? <laughs> So long story short, when I was living in a house and it was really, really big and it had four bedrooms, you know, I feared for my life every day because, you know, a single gal living in a house by her... Hello. Who are you? So when I was living in a house, I wanted to have a big guard dog. I wanted somebody who was going to bust open my house. So for a long time, I've always wanted like a big tough dog. Instead of getting like a big huge Rottweiler or a pit bull, I ended up with the Labrador. He was the biggest teddy bear. He could probably hug any intruder that comes in. What is my pet peeve? Oh, it's definitely eye boogers on anyone and any animal. I hate eye boogers. We used to have this thing as kids where we would like pick our nose and like flick it at each other or like get the like the biggest booger ever flicked it and it landed underneath my eye. You see that? Can't go anywhere now, fucker. So what was your most embarrassing drunk story? I actually wouldn't say it was the most embarrassing drunk story because I have a lot of them. Actually, it was just recent. I was on vacation in the Philippines. So I met these two fabulous gay boys from South Africa. And you know, he was much more of like a tequila kind of guy. I found myself like frolicking and I had my top off in the ocean with children and their flamingo, you know, floaties around. And I was also told that I was like supposedly making out with him or kissing him. Like he grabbed my face and kissed me and stuff. I don't know if it was the other way around, but still, yeah. I don't know if I regret it or enjoyed it. 
If somebody asks any tips on saving money, don't spend any. What is something you have to do every day? I think something that I have to do every day is at least one get for one form of like exercise in because if I don't exercise, I start to go crazy. Like I'm a man. I need to just let it go at least in the morning and then I will be sane the whole day. If you know what I mean. <laughs> question my dream burrito would consist of my childhood memories spam adobo rice and egg oh <gasps> that makes me want to burp thinking about it <laughs> somebody asked how many cc's did you get for your boob job apparently sizes don't exist to plastic surgeons they just you know go about well how good do you want to look in them it could fit into a d-sized bra more to a full c it depends if my period came that month because i would be double the size Follow up that question, somebody asked, do I regret my boob job? I don't really regret them, obviously why I got them. I used to wear like an extra small and now I have to wear like a small medium. I know, a terrible story of my life. So yeah, you guys, that is all the Q&A questions that I have for you today. This will be a vlog slash Q&A. And thank you guys so much for your questions on Instagram. Oh, and I just got my lashes done from Eye Candy Salon. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.